I don't know what to make of this news. The news coming out today that Manchester United are looking to extend the contracts of Antonio Valencia and Ashley Young. This is really bad news for Manchester United fans and for the club. It really is. Manchester United have stuck with these players for way too long. Past any club should, should consider keeping these two players. And I've got nothing against the guys in person. They're probably great guys. And some of the vile hatred towards Ashley Young is unacceptable. I admit that. But Manchester United have got to move on and move forward. We cannot rely on Ashley Young and Antonio Valencia playing at either fullback again for Manchester United. And this is a fucking disgrace that Manchester United should be willing to give these two guys one-year contract extensions. It's just not good enough for Manchester United. We have to move on, get new players in and move forward. Manchester United would be far better off putting a youngster in, in place of Ashley Young than playing Ashley Young next season. Ashley Young will be another year older. He's getting worse. He's not a fullback. Should not be playing left back or right back, period. End of it. We should not have Antonio Valencia there either. Neither of them are good enough to play for Manchester United anymore. They were both wingers. They were not even fullbacks. They were converted into, into fullbacks due to a lack of options Manchester United had at fullback from previous years. And Manchester United have done dog shit in trying to replace these players. OK, we've got Luke Shaw that's playing OK at the moment, but he's had so many injury problems and lack of form over the last few years. We've tried Blind at left back. We've tried Darmian at right back. We've tried all sorts of shit. And it just hasn't worked. We've played all sorts of players. Um, I just can't even remember who, the amount of dog shit players that Manchester United have probably played at right back. I think even Paddy McNair's played there in the past. It's just not good enough for Manchester United. We need to sort these positions out. It was a big factor in Manchester United in the FA Cup final only months ago. Manchester United losing to Chelsea 1-0 and the fullbacks atrocious for Manchester United. Not good enough, not good enough going forward. Just, just not good enough for Manchester United. And even at, even at times caught out far too often defensively, just not, not up to the standard that Manchester United need if we are to get back anywhere near the top of the table in the next couple of years. You just cannot do this at Manchester United. We just cannot be having players like this play for us. These two players would get into very few Premier League sides, both of them. Most Premier League sides would not want both of these players at fullback. You, you would have to go to, t to lower down the division to teams like Fulham, West Ham, that would want crap players to be playing at fullback like these now. They are past their sell by date. They are not no longer good enough for Manchester United. And it just pains me to see, just across the road at Manchester City, bringing in two quality fullbacks over the last year or two, and it has made Manchester City much better in the fullback positions. Straight away, when Pep Guardiola went in there, not too long after he got the job, the likes of Zabaleta were gone, Clichy, Sagna were all cleared out of Manchester City. He brought in much better fullbacks, and it has made massive, massive difference for Manchester City. They've got Walker and Mendy who are, are, are so are levels ahead of Ashley Young and Antonio Valencia, and it just pains me to see this. And we're going to see these two play against Crystal Palace in the next game, because Luke Shaw is out of that game, and it is really devastating. I never wanted to see that for Manchester United again. And it's most Manchester United fans' nightmare that, I mean, it, it, we're an injury away from seeing what we, what we saw last season with Ashley Young, Antonio Valencia, Phil Jones and Chris Smalling as our, as our back four. After last season, I never ever wanted to see Manchester United with a back four of that again. And I could see that happening again in the future at Manchester United this season. Just where, where I mean, who is making these decisions and wanting to keep these fucking shit players? It's just not good enough for Manchester United. We've got to, we've got to be recruiting better from, from board level to owners to, to manager. We've got to be recruiting better. We've got to be getting in better recruitment of players for Manchester United. The level of players has been absolutely fucking abysmal over the last few years. You can name on one hand the successful transfers Manchester United have had and even then we've paid over the odds for most of them players. Even the likes of Lukaku playing, paying over £80 million pounds for his services. It's just not good enough for Manchester United. Even, even though Martial now seems to be coming into his own, own and performing a lot better, it was so much money for a teenager for Manchester United and it was a massive gamble for Manchester United, and the recruitment has been just so, so poor for Manchester United. And I, I don't know who's making the decisions on wanting to keep Ashley Young and Antonio Valencia, but with the 
with the quotes that are reportedly coming out that Jose Mourinho is happy to give Ashley wants to give Ashley Young another year. It's just just absolutely fucking madness. It really is. He kept that bloody bloody Maravlay who isn't good enough for Manchester United for another season, who held the club to ransom over over wanting more money and should have fucked off in the summer. It's just not good enough for Manchester United. Shouldn't be playing for Manchester United. And yes, I will agree with him being a plan B, but Manchester United shouldn't be relying on a big, tall, lanky dope like that to come off the substitutes bench for Manchester United when we're having to rescue games, when we should be putting certain games, the likes of Bournemouth, to bed in the first half. Manchester United over the years used to do that. We didn't rely on bringing, bringing a dope on like that and booting balls up. We, we would bring top quality players on if if and when we did need to did need to bring players onto the pitch, but you don't see Manchester City or Barcelona going out there bringing a, a six foot four dope on and booting balls up to the big man to try and get back into games. No, they go out there and they put the games to bed with their quality play. And Manchester United have just been so, so poor. I can't remember the last performance that Manchester United were even good in. It's just an absolute joke, this club, at this moment in time. And I, I don't know, I think I think the Glazers and Edward would have got a lot to, to take of the blame for this, but Jose and Reno wanting to keep Ashley Young just just tops a lot for me, and I, I just cannot see where where Jose Mourinho is taking Manchester United. I mean, in in his early days, Jose Mourinho fantastic, winning winning so many competitions with Chelsea and Inter Milan and Porto was was a fantastic manager. And where is Jose Mourinho going now? I wouldn't them years. I would never have thought that a Jose Mourinho team would. Would be so. I mean, Jose Mourinho would be so happy to be playing the likes of Ashley Young and Marion Fellaini in midfield, and Chris Smalling and Cedra. Never did he do that when he first went to Chelsea. He was getting shot at players that just weren't good enough. Straight away when he went to Chelsea, got Carlo Cudicini out the team, brought in Pesicek straight away. Sort was sorting out Chelsea's defence, bringing William, bringing uh, Carvalho into the back back four. Was 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 really changing Chelsea dramatically. He just seems to be. I don't know what has happened to Jose Mourinho, but it just doesn't seem to be the same Jose Mourinho that I fell, fell in love with as a manager them years ago. And I was so happy when Jose Mourinho eventually was given the Manchester United job because I really did think that, Manchester, that Jose Mourinho was the man for Manchester United. But I, I just can't see where Manchester United are going with this, to, to be honest. I, I really can't. Manchester United cannot continue like this. And if Jose Mourinho doesn't last the season and Manchester United do give these two guys new contracts, then what, what does it say for the next manager? I mean, is he not going to get funds to strengthen in, in, in the defensive areas? And, and are we going to continue to play Smalling, Jones, players like of that ilk at the back? And, and, and as soon as we get one injury to Luke Shaw, Ashley Young is back at full-back and Antonio Valencia is the main, main right-back, is he? And what, is Delo going to just be back up? I, I just don't know. Is Delo... I mean, we haven't seen hardly any of him because of injury, but he should, when fit, really, I, I think he should be getting in the team ahead of Ashley Young and Antonio Valencia. You spend big money on a young, exciting player. Why not give him the chance? Manchester United have been so dog shit this season. OK, he hasn't got the experience that Ashley Young and Antonio Valencia have got. He's going to make mistakes, but both of them are making mistakes. I mean, it was only a few weeks ago Kennedy turned... Ashley Young inside out in the opening 20 minutes against Newcastle. We were two goals down. Ashley Young was so, so poor. I just, I just can't see it being any worse. You're giving a young guy some experience, learning this trade. It'd be fantastic for him. And I don't know, but this, this cannot carry on for Manchester United. Standards really are dropping at Manchester United, and it is an absolute joke. Let me know what you think on this situation. How angry are you? I think so many fans on Twitter seem angry that Ashley Young is getting a new contract. I mean, there hasn't been so much anger in the An Antonio Valencia, but he's not really getting a lot of game time at the moment, but he will do now that Luke Shaw's out of that next game, I'm sure. Because even if Diogo Delo is fitter than, than Antonio Valencia, he's going to put, certainly put Valencia in there, isn't he? And Delo's just hardly going to get any game time this season, and it's just going to be a complete waste of a season, probably, for Delo when... When I've seen him, he, he a couple of games he hasn't looked great, but a couple of games he's looked good. So why not give him the chance? I mean, Ashley Young's not not been brilliant, and Antonio Valencia's not been brilliant either. So why not give the guy a chance? He cannot do any worse than them. Well, I don't know. We will have to wait and see. Anyway, 
Hopefully Delo maybe can get a few games coming up because we've got young boys in the Champions League coming up. So hopefully maybe now he's getting near fit, he can actually get some game time because the, the best parent at the uh, fullback position surely is Delo and Shaw. And if them two can perform very, very well this season, even if these two do, Valencia and Ashley Young do sign new contracts, hopefully they don't get too much game time next season when a new manager comes into Manchester United. But the worst bit of it is that they're both on big wages. I think Ashley Young's on well over 100, about 130 grand a week. So if they're signing new contracts, they're going to be here for at least another year. Manchester United are not going to be able to get a shot of these players anytime soon. So if a new manager comes in and doesn't, doesn't fancy these players, which is going to be quite likely because if we get a top quality manager in, I can't see why any top quality manager would want to come to Manchester United and have these as fullbacks myself then he's going to be stuck with them at least in backup options, which still isn't good enough for Manchester United, really. But as long as they're not first-choice players next season, that is the main thing, because we cannot be playing squad players at absolute best. I mean, they're not even squad players, are they? Shouldn't even really be making the bench. But at absolute bench, they're squad players and should be playing against lesser opposition when you get a League Cup or FA Cup game. But... We will have to wait and see. Anyway, let me know your thoughts on this. How how upset, annoyed are you with where the club's going? Where Where is Manchester United going? I mean, it's just going down the absolute fucking toilet at the moment. It's just an absolute joke. Like the video, subscribe to the channel if you're new, and I'll talk to you all again soon.